Hey everyone, and welcome back, and I just want to make sure I wasn't muted, but in any case, so welcome everyone to the Call of Duty Championships presented by Xbox. Golden Boy here alongside my buddy Rel. One more time, what's up, pal? Yeah, man, and we have got a great game coming up as well. It is Vex Revenge, who we actually uh, casted over previously with a really That's close right. game, 3-2 against Orbit, going up against the Titans' complexity. Incredibly strong team. Uh, they pretty much win everything. Yeah, I mean, Complexity is one of the greatest teams in the game, and the match hasn't started just yet, so we're in the nick of time. But I got to say, when you look at this one and you look, I, I want to kick it off with my boys in Vex Revenge because they had a point to prove in that matchup against Orbit that you and I casted earlier. Yep. Now, can, can Lightning strike twice, but this time... It's going to be in a very, very small island against uh, the island of complexity. And I don't know if lightning will particularly hit that little part of the ocean, so I'm a little worried, man. Yeah, I mean, they are heavy underdogs here, but we have seen some incredible plays. I mean, we were talking about Slumber quite heavily. We saw him going 40 to 18 in a domination yes. against Team Orbit. Uh, so we're going to expect some big things from him in the uh, in the objective-based game modes, I think. Yeah, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm definitely looking for Slumber to go huge here. He was able to pick up uh, one kill there. TP and Krim able to follow up with one of their own. Krim6 on a run. You Gotta watch out for the Crimbot there, but a great shot out of Slumber. Definitely making this presence felt as Mech pushes in toward B. There's gonna be one member of Cole on the front side here, so expect to see that push happen as Mech tried to do it, but it just couldn't make it as Demon will now be on the run toward B. But it seems like we're, you know, shades of what we saw before in that Orbit matchup. B hotly contested, no one really getting that upper hand just yet. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's all going on at B. They are losing this now, so it is slowly slipping away from Vex, and Demon really needs to make this oh, kill, which he does. Nice. Very, very important kill there, so it remains neutral. That's right, and ill skill's gonna get dropped now. Mech on your screen. He knows that there's gonna be a player hanging out by the bus, and he's gonna get caught sprinting, and that's always an unfortunate thing. When you see players, you know, you wanna get to the point as quickly as you possibly can, but when you go off of the sprint, you are gonna end up getting Oh no, that could have been really bad for Illskill. He is going to get cleaned up though by TP, the veteran. Slumber though with the stop. No one has capped B just yet, Rel. Yeah, and this is really interesting. I mean, I've got to say, Complexity seems to be edging it towards B. However, B is now being taken by Vex. Great covering by there from Slumber. And oh. B is going to, oh, almost going Vex control. Man, they know that there's going to be a player inside of there. Slumber, you can't stop him oh, wow. as he gets five in a row. What a run out of Slumber. Looking to make some noise here against Complexity. They're only down by one point. Keep that in mind, Rel. So with that said, with, with with the way that this has been shaping out, whoever gets B, that's going to be the huge momentum shift. And Slumber continues his seven-point streak against one of the greatest teams to touch the sticks when it comes to competitive Call of Duty and complexity. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they narrowly missed out against the win in the regionals against Strictly Business. But apart from that, they just placed first at almost every single event they attend. Complexity are hot favorites for this tournament, but Vex are bringing it to them. That's right. But bear that in mind, though. I mentioned before, whoever can get B, that momentum is going to Yep. considerably in their favor and complexity in their form in what we expect them to do have managed to get control of B and they pushed up inside and you could see that little by little revenge is just getting forced back over to the club and that's exactly what we're seeing here TP is going to find a player there as well he's going to get uh, actually managing to find one that was going to be Demon Nades flying all over the place Slumber trying to make something happen here but they are going to get three caps and just when he thought that revenge was going to be able to answer back complexity they come out strong. Yeah, and uh, surprise, surprise, who is making those kills for yep. complexity? It is the Krim bot as Krim6 goes 14 to 14 to 6 now, one of the main slayers for the team, and uh, actually one of the first or only players to actually be a professional Halo and Call of Duty player. That's right, that's right. I mean, uh, you do have a Pac-Man on Rise who did compete in Call of Duty as well, or in Halo, but he wasn't uh, a top 8 player. Yeah. Krim6 was in the top 8 teams, and he was constantly contesting for that back in the, the days of MLG Halo. So, oh, yeah. you know, uh, it, it, Krim6, one of the more versatile players on this team, and, and it shows, I mean, he's just an absolute slaying monster. But as we talked about before, they were able to get that three cap, and it has pretty much stayed true this entire time. 40 point lead, 40 plus point lead, 42 to be exact, in favor of complexity as Vex Revenge had a good start in the beginning, but they just couldn't quite close the deal. Yeah, and this is it. I mean, this is what happens with Octane. It's probably one of the most easiest domination maps where you can actually push for this three cap and hold it because of the way that the, the spawns happen. Complexity know how to lock this down, and as you say, Golden Boy, they've just locked it down completely. Um, what was initially a close first half has gone way, way in Complexity's favor. Very true, and it was quite surprising because, you know, Slumber was getting a good run 
and he got into great positioning with that uh, with that Remington hanging out by the bus here, where Ace is actually, right now he's picking up a double kill, just disgusting, as he takes out Slumber and Demon, going back for that flag and continuing to exact their dominance complexity here, finding another player, and Ace's shots are just not missing at all, Rel. Oh, My wow. goodness. Yeah, that was phenomenal play there from Ace. He's actually on that six-point streak now, 14 to six. Every single player for complexity going huge there. And uh, as I said before, what was initially a very close game has gone so oh, Ace! My goodness! Wow! He has just absolutely ruined uh, Vex game in there. That was massive play. And 107 to 35 is the scoreline for the first side. This is going to be a big struggle now if Vex want to take the domination. That was, in fact, wow. a slobber knocker. Look at that. 110%. And, you know, the way that they set up, this is what I was talking about. Uh, on Domination Octane, it's one of the, the domination maps where you always want to be pushing for this three cap because of the spawn points, they're far away from the home flag. So it's a lot easier to get there. It's very hard to defend your home flag sometimes. Yeah, it, it is. And and the thing about Octane as well, like you mentioned, if you are able to get those kills, you can manipulate those spawns. Lovely. And that's what Complexity did there. Yep. They forced them inside of Strip for a little while. They were like, go ahead, hang, spawn by the club. We'll just, you know, run into our bullets, please. And that's exactly what happened. And then as time went on, the spawns began to be a little bit more sporadic, but when you have Crim6 and Aix going off, it spells doom for anyone that's in their path. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, every single complexity player there pulling their weight. Uh, we're going to get on to the second side, though. I mean, how do Vex Gaming answer back now? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's going to be very hard to, to, to come back from this one if you're Vex. I mean, in, you know, and I hate to say this because this isn't uh, this wouldn't be the best thing to, to, to bring up. But when you are Vex, you're, you're going to this matchup against Cole and you never want to go into it thinking you're going to lose. But you're going into it thinking this match is going to be very hard. Yeah. And, and I think that's something that, you know, Vex completely understands there. So that's why in this domination, they may be thinking we're going to just continue to play against complexity. I'll gun them. But I think they have their, their mind set on that search and destroy. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to take some chances here. If they want a chance of winning this domination, they're just going to have to push so hard for this three cap. It's the only way they're going to be yeah. able to do it. Uh, of course, we've been Vex Gaming, formerly uh, known as Team Revenge. So Vex Revenge uh, is probably the more appropriate title for them. Uh, but going up against Complexity, this has been a team for a long time now. We did see Karma actually replace Clayster. Uh, mm -hmm. Following the switch, they did secure their first place victory. Uh, but after that, they got the second place at Regionals. So, uh, you know, Karma regarded as one of the best Black Ops 2 players in the world. That's uh, right. It's a, it's a strong pickup. Every single one of these players on Complexity individually, very strong. Oh, yeah. Strong. I, and, and the scary part is you don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe slaying with them, right, if you don't have the weapons. And when you talk about a team that can do that strictly business, mm -hmm. they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. But one thing that you notice in that U.S. Finals game Complexity was struggling. They couldn't yes. get their bearings together. They couldn't find it. So let's go ahead and jump into the action now as the second half of, uh, of the game has begun in this Octane domination matchup here. Of course, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with Complexity. I want to give them some love. Uh, you know, we gave them a lot of love in the beginning, but we started it off with Vex Revenge before. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if Vex Revenge are going to be able to take it to them again. I think for Vex's sake, you just think about this as a completely new game and just try your absolute best to, to, to just force them the same way that they force them into that three cap. It's just, it's going to be very hard, especially considering that they're getting out Slade here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got a 72-point difference here that we're talking about. So I'm pretty sure that Complexity would be more than happy to just sit back and hold one flag, probably push for the second and just hold it as long as they can. But my yep. point is they could just keep that B flag neutral and they'll be fine. Yeah, they can. They can. Uh, and it will take a, a very ambitious effort from Vex Revenge to be able to come back into but this here one. here we go. I mean, yeah. they're, giving it a, they're giving it the best shot. They've pushed over to the C. They are, of course, losing A, and that B flag is about to fall into complexity control, which spells big trouble for them. I, I also think another thing that we're seeing quite a bit from Vex Revenge is they're getting a little bit of that tunnel vision where they're pushing up rather aggressively, and they're not mining their corners, they're not mining where the enemy could potentially be located, but a great shot out of Slumber. And he has been impressing me so much in this uh, Look at here at the Call of Duty Championships. Another shot there out of Slumber. He's been getting key kills and helping his teammates so much. He really does have an incredible future 
in competitive Call of Duty if he keeps this up. You know what? I've got to agree with you here because Slumber has just stood out so much for me for Vex Revenge. He's had uh, a few shaky search and destroy games, so maybe I, I feel like if he tightens that up a little bit, he could we be have a best. potential animal. On yeah, our hands absolutely. Here. Uh, but he, as as you're saying, Golden Boy really impressed me, uh, and he's going six to three so far in the second half against arguably the best Call of Duty team in the world. That's right, and Slumber finding another player, and, and I like the way he's approaching it too. Right, it, it's methodical. Yeah. It's I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this move, and I'm not gonna get reckless with it. I'm not gonna play like a typical SMG player, you know, that likes to run around with an AR. A lot of players, when you have that AR, you have to bear in mind your role is not to be Mr. Superhero. You're opening up the lanes, you're creating the plays for your teammates, and and I like that Slumber does that very well. Yeah, and I want to see uh, what's going on with Karma actually for a bit because. Something we should probably point out about Karma is he was the champion last year uh, with Fariko Impact, and he's the, right. he's the only returning Fariko Impact player looking to make it the uh, the two-peat. Theoretically, he wants to defend his title yep. of, of world champion, but of course, without the other three players here, it is, it, you know, it is a sore spot. You know, I mean, it, it, it hurts to say. I mean, Curse Las Vegas definitely was a phenomenal team, but oh, oh my goodness, Karma getting just murk there by Demon as Demon's going to try and see if he can make magic happen inside of B. And let's talk about this real fast because they are trying their absolute best, but they can't quite do anything. Four down here in this matchup, complexity continuing to steamroll. And, and it's just it's just a testament to how talented the squad is. Absolutely, and Aix putting on a great show here. 12 to 5, the only player with uh, double figure kills. Uh, doing some great slaying work, actually. Aix is one of the uh, the players that gets heavily uh, into the objective work and gets into those dirty close quarter combat situations. Yeah, Aix likes to just get his hands dirty, you know, and I, that's what one thing I've always respected about Aix because while Crim6 is going to be that guy who typically is going to go out there and slay, Karma, same thing, he'll go out there and slay. But Aix, he is no quarrel getting in there and making the plays happen, getting the objectives done, just like TP, yeah. you know? And, and that's why this, this complexity team is so dirty. Whenever I talk about this team, I think to myself, is there a weak link? No, there isn't. There isn't a weak link. The only thing that could beat complexity theoretically is themselves because going back to that US Finals matchup, TP was struggling, yeah. right? And don't get me wrong, not to take anything away from Strictly Business, they did, they played great all weekend, but that matchup against Complexity, they, they forced TP into that situation where he was, he was struggling. And perhaps you could put the argument there saying, okay, well then maybe Strictly Business did defeat Complexity, but I'm still of the belief that when it comes to this team, it's very hard to argue all their individual skill. And when one struggles, it's clearly, clearly noticeable. Yeah, I mean, Crimson has been quite quiet, actually, this side. And I can only assume that it's because of the, uh, they've gone for this more defensive approach. We did see Aix using the AR previously, yes. which I believe he picked up, actually. But, uh, I mean, let's talk about Aix and TP. These guys are the duo. They have been together yes. for so, so long. I think they're the longest running duo in Call of Duty. I think so as well. They've teamed pretty much since, since the start, MW2, really. Yeah. if I'm correct. Uh, I, I think... Uh, it was weird. I think uh, TP was just like an Xbox Live kid, and uh, Aix hit him up, and he was like, "Hey, you know, let's let's team together." And then ever since then, they just—it's it, not a romantic story or anything, <laughs> but uh, you know, they they did find each other, and ever since they've just been working together. So there you have it. As the time dwindles down, the score will be 93 to 56. A better showing out of Vex Revenge that time around, but complexity continuing to display their dominance here in Call of Duty Championships. Oh yeah, well it's uh, a total, I believe it was a 109 point difference in total. And it could just be simply the fact that Complexity have played that side a little bit slower. They know they don't yep. have to overextend themselves. Why risk it? They can just play it safe and take the win. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're 100% you, you're correct about that. There's no need for them to, to get aggressive. and you know, I mean, they're just going to play their game. Yeah. They're just going to play their game. So with that said, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, it is going to be game number two, Search and Destroy. Now, while Domination may not have been in the favor of Vex Revenge, we have seen them come up huge in Search and Destroy. Look for players like Demon to step it up here, but keep an eye on Slumber. Is he going to struggle again against a very strong complexity squad? We're going to have to find out all this and more when we come back after the break.